open sky Reflection in my eye And it's true, so true Hi everyone, this is Amy with Ketolicious Life. Welcome back to my channel. And as promised, we're going to be making keto chocolate chip cookies that are chewy and delicious and soft and just like, well not just like, but pretty darn close to the Nestle Toll House cookies that I grew up loving. So I basically have ketofied this recipe. So let's get started. So before we get started making this, please do me a big favor and just to help my channel grow, leave me a thumbs up. And at the end of this video, be sure to put a comment down below and tell me what you think about the recipe. All right, let's get started. We're going to be adding two cups of almond flour to our bowl. I'm using a KitchenAid. One teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of pure vanilla. Two large eggs. One cup of golden monk fruit. We're going to be doing two sticks of melted butter, a dash of cinnamon, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. All right, now this is the secret ingredient that makes them very chewy. This is beef gelatin powder, and I'll have a link for it down below if you want to get some on Amazon. Um, this will add a really nice chewy consistency to your cookie. So, so we're going to be doing a half of a cup of the beef gelatin powder. Another ingredient that makes these cookies taste extra yummy, this is milled flax seeds. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of this. You can add more if you'd like. Um, you can just kind of Test it out and see if you'd like more or less, but I like it. It adds a little substance to the cookie. It just makes it taste really good. A little fiber into the cookie. We're going to add a quarter of a cup of psyllium husk. Now, people always ask me if it's psyllium husk powder. This is kind of a gritty consistency. It's pretty fine, um, but yeah, so that's what that is. And I love to add pecans, chopped pecans, to my cookies, so we'll be adding those in. I'm going to mix this all up, and then I'll stir in my chopped pecans and my um, chocolate chips. So I'll be right back. We'll get this all mixed up. Okay, so I'm going to add in about um, a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans, and then about uh, three quarters of a cup of the Lily's chocolate chips, and we're gonna mix, stir that into our cookie dough. All right, so here's our cookie dough all mixed together. We're gonna, I'm gonna use a scoop here. Um, this is, I'm not sure what size this scoop is, but it makes the perfect size cookie. So I'm gonna scoop this out about like that, and I'm putting these on a silicone baking sheet. And they do work best if they're in kind of a tall shape like this. They will spread out, so you might want to make sure you give room in between. They are going to spread out, but because we're putting them in a kind of a tall ball shape like this, we're going to end up with a nice puffy cookie. All right, we're going to bake these at 350 until their edges start to get just nice light brown. And we'll be right back when those are done. About 13 to 14 minutes. All right, guys, so here's our cookies out of the oven. Of course, we've already eaten two each, I think. Three. They're so, so good. My daughter came in and she tasted them. She, she doesn't want to be filmed today. I look a mess, but it is what it is. I still wanted to show you guys. I want to just kind of give you a close-up of how beautiful these look and how nice and 
tall they get. Um, these are still a little tiny bit warm, but they stay soft and chewy. That's the best part about the beef gelatin. So, okay. Mmm. Super moist inside. The best chew, a little bit of a crunch. The bottom gets kind of, the edges get just the perfect amount of chewiness and kind of crunchy at the same time. And then the pecans in there. The best chocolate chip cookies keto I've ever had. Really, they're, really delicious. They're chewy, chocolatey. Tastes very good. And they stay chewy even after they cool off. So like the next day, they're still going to be chewy and soft. So I hope you guys will give the this recipe a try. I have some other cookie recipes that I'm going to be sharing with you all. So stay tuned for more because I'm not done. So please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Whatever you'd like to say, it could be cookie, it could be a comment about the recipe, whatever you would like to help my channel grow. And thanks so much for watching. Definitely I, try this recipe, you won't be sorry. Yeah, you won't be sorry. I am floored. To me, they're the best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had, hands down. Even better than a traditional chocolate chip cookie. That's just my opinion. But I've been keto for almost three years, so I'm pretty um, used to keto products. But definitely give it a try. It's amazing. It's like I need another one. Yeah, they're dangerous too because you could just keep eating these. Definitely with a nice iced coffee is the way to have your cookies. So I'm going to go enjoy mine with my iced coffee. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Clouds and hard rain. I miss you, your colors. I feel like I'm going under. I'm coasting on a riptide, thinking about your love.